Me, you, CW, me, him, review, NXT. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. We just love ourselves some NXT, and I'm glad we're all on the same page that NXT is brilliant. That's what we think. That is what we believe. And now we start the show with Ethan Page. He comes out. Talks with Trick Williams. Well, first of all, Trick beats him to the ring. And this seems to annoy Ethan Page. Ethan Page says, when the champion retains, it is customary that he gets to open the show. Since when? Can someone explain this to me? When did the champ get first dibs on opening the show just because he retained his belt? He says to Trick, but you wouldn't know about that because you only retained your championship once. Well, you know what? At least fucking Trick Williams deserves this championship, you fucking loser. We're back to TNA or AW or wherever you came from. See the fact they're even booking him like this, man. It tells you that he, he, it's exactly true, though. Yeah, you know what? The champion shouldn't get interrupted, really. <laughs> but because he's that pish, that's why he's getting interrupted. They have no faith in him coming out and cutting a promo by himself. Then get interrupted. Trick Williams came out first. Well, you know what I mean? Interrupt it to go into the ring. Ethan Page gets the lowest clips... He's shit. It's just because he's one of Cody Rhodes' buddies. Oh, and now Cody Rhodes is going to fucking TNA. No, who, who's next? Who, the, the chairman, Alex Spears, or whatever he's called, Sean Spears? Right. Fucking loser. I'll whip out his dogs next to the championship. But anyway, Ethan Page then said about Chicago defending the belt on CW, and he says to Trick, you'll be lucky if you even make it there. And then Butch comes out. This big, fu well, nothing big about him actually. This Diddy man. <laughs> this little fucking fanny. People saying he looks like a, a transvestite or something like that. He, he, he just looks like a bum, you know. Look, look at Butch, man. Is this guy going to be on a WrestleMania poster? No. Can this guy main event? He Could might be on a little My Little Pony poster. No, but just think. Can could Butch versus The Rock hat? Just let's just take The Rock since The Rock's the man, right? The Rock's the measuring pole, the measuring <laughs> stick. The Rock's the A side. How many people in WWE can go one-on-one -on -one with The Rock in the main event of Mania and not look out of place? I can tell you what, Butch ain't one of them. I don't think there's fucking any. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Yeah, but I mean, we're probably looking at a bit wet. In current WWE right now, what, like four, three people? I mean, No more than ten. Aye, no more than ten. Butch is at... He's not even in the top 100. I don't even think Butch should be on a... a Fucking mania pre show. No, it is what it is. I mean, Trick Williams, over fit. There's about 50 people on NXT more deserving than him. Or would look the part. You know, there's people like Oba Femi, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't even like the guy, right? I think he's very boring. But is he a big physical guy? And is he dominant and hasn't lost a match? You're going to buy it. I mean, imagine The Rock at WrestleMania selling the fingers to Pete Dunne. Imagine it. I mean, The Rock built. 300 pounds. Reckon jacked. You reckon you could snap an eyebrow? Snap an eyebrow? No, I, I can't stand Pete Dunn. And the, I mean, he wears this shitey maroon coloured attire on NXT, but then on Raw, he's attacking Sheamus and his like fucking. What do you, what do you call them? I can't even remember what the group were called. I, I just. The, the, the Brawling Brutes attire? I just think it's disgusting, man, that this guy's on two shows. Yep. Anyway, Jada Parker runs into Fatal Influence backstage. See this fatal influence? Is it not just a rip off of Toxic Attraction? Yep. Even the name sounds similar. The name's similar. But it's just not a good version. No. It's just. It's, it's just, like the Jericho Appreci Appreciation Society Turner Circle. Yeah, it's just really fucking lame. Uh, right, they, they announced a match for tonight. First match the Rascals versus Gallus versus Hank Walker and Tank Ledger. Number one contenders match. Hank Ledger, Tank Walker. I don't see the point in these guys, honestly. Uh, they kind of look like public enemy. They give them uh, public enemy fights. I mean, it's almost a parody at this point. Here, we're, we're actually going to stick these guys that don't look like fucking wrestlers. I mean, did they not come into the company as janitors? Am I making this up, or were they not like janitors or something? I don't know. They were backstage staff. They all look like janitors to me, so... <laughs> uh, anyway, the Rascals win. Good for them. People in TNA will care. I certainly don't. Uh, then we get Trick Williams. He gets in a locker room brawl. We Pete Dunn, need the cares. Second match, Lexus King versus Aura Mensa with metaphor. Lexus King gets the win. Apparently, people were saying to Lexus King, you should go back to AEW because you don't get enough screen time in NXT. And he basically said something about, well, quality over quantity. Is he really doing anything quality though? 
And how long has he been in NXT? You know what? He's probably been in the NXT now close for a year. Because yeah. time fucking flies. <laughs> time flies in wrestling, when, especially when you're not having fun. But he's probably been in NXT for about a year now. And what has he done? See, see the first maybe six weeks, two months? Yeah, they were having those promo packages and the little vignettes and stuff, and he felt like a semi-big deal. But see, The worst then, thing he could do was drop the Pillman name. And they made it out to be a, a big deal that he did that. No, oh, Brian Pillman's a recognisable name. The, the guy's been dead, what, 27 years? But m- people know Brian Pillman over Lexus King in 2024. People's going to remember Pillman's got a gun. Pillman's got a gun! <laughs> I wish I fucking... Lexus King's got a gun! The dangerous if Fog Wrestling had one. We're getting turned around, one, eh? Watching this shit. Anyway, uh, Tatum Baxley versus Rosemary. I d- every time I see Rosemary on my TV screen, I just want to form it. Uh, don't need to see her, honestly. Uh, Tatum Paxley wins, then she gets attacked. Lyra comes out, gives her a hug. Lyra makes the save. Uh, I mean, why is she to, out there? To me, it, it just goes to show you how much of a flop she's been on the main roster. We, we know the brand split's dead and all that shit, but she just feels like this is where she belongs. How many times, right, <coughs> in the McMahon era? Oh, he buries the people that come up from NXT. Triple H would do wonders. Even look at the people Triple H has brought up. See, Gargano and Ciampa, they were his boys down in NXT. All right, yeah, they had a a, te- a 17-day ta- tag title reign, right, or whatever. But see everybody Triple H has called up for NXT and his air. Have they not flopped? Yeah. I mean, Braun Breaker, right? They, they wait it too long. I don't care if he's got the IC title now. They didn't even book it right anyway. It's boring. Braun Breaker's momentum's dead. Carmelo Hayes is dead. Wrestling Andrade every week. Like, say what you want, but in the McMahon era, I think when Bobby Roode and Samoa Joe, and I get it, different calibre of fish, but they were on NXT, folks. Like, Aiden English, I thought, could use correctly. Like, with the Rusev stuff. It's like, McMahon did a better job. Joe was getting in a few... Uh, especially, especially initially. Yeah. I, what I would say is, that after a while, the Kennedys got lost in the shuffle. Yeah. But that happens to everybody in wrestling now. Yeah. But with Triple H, it's like... At least for McMahon, he would give you like that initial push at the beginning. Look at Kevin Owens and, see- and you'd feel like a big deal. You'd get launched straight no, away. No, hold on. No, and then, I, I, then he would rein you in. No. But see with Triple H, he just fuck. Oh, oh but let, let's look. Let's fucking look at it. I didn't even think of this. Look, look at the shield. I was on McMahon. I know. <laughs> when is Triple H going to create three fucking guys or anything? Anywhere- Ryan Reeves. Down, Aye. down, down, down. Aye. Me, me. Bray Wyatt, it's all McMahon. No, that just goes, to, yo, I don't even like those years of wrestling, like 2012, 13 and whatever, but look at the stars that they created for the next decade. Like like Bray Wyatt, The Shield and people like that. Look yeah. at now, well, no, who, who, who have they created? There's fucking no one. No, no one. Anybody they've, they've, they think they've created since AEW? Oh, Adam Cole, bye-bye. Aye, Adam Cole, <laughs> bye-bye. Get in the bin, bye-bye. Anyway, uh, next week on NXT, Jordan Grace will be issuing a TNA Knockouts World Open Challenge match. So, I mean, I don't want to see that. Uh, Ethan Page made fun of the job that Ava Rain's doing as NXT General Manager. Careful not to make too much fun or The Rock will have you fired. Uh, fourth match, Trick Williams, Pete Dunn, brawling, double count out. Dunn tries to break the fingers, then does a Russian leg sweep and they fall from like the barricade through a table. The crowd boo. I mean, who the, who cares, really, at the end of the day? We get a Ridge Holland promo about uh, Chase University. He says he's going to destroy Chase U next week. And that is it, really. I mean, just, just shit. Why is that this guy burying, like, ten people? I hate Ridge Holland. Unsafe worker, man. Can't cut a promo and just looks deformed. Yeah, um, he said that he's going to step-by-step destroy Chase U... It begins next week, and he say... What did he say? He said something about Fear Hale. He said Fear Hale's gonna, like, love every minute of it. But it's like, you know, she's not gonna get fucking destroyed. Yeah, she can't, yeah, you can't attack her, so... Yeah, but that's pretty much here. She's gonna love every minute of it because she's gonna have to stand there and watch because I can't physically do anything to her because this company's pathetic. You know, I mean, they see him beating up the other guys that compete four on one. All that does is bury them. But see if he actually attacked Tia Hale, that would just hate to him. 
But no, we're not allowed to do that. We'll just have him bury the other four guys. It's just lame, even like when he initially attacked them at the pay-per-view, man. She, she just jumped out the ring straight away. No, no. <sighs> Depend on who it is, but then, like... If, if, you know, so they wouldn't really put Rhea Ripley in that kind of situation. No, I know. Where if um, Damien was getting attacked, they wouldn't really have her jump out and just watch it on. No, I know. She'd probably start fucking beating up Balor and all this shit. But... Damien! Anyway, um, up next, D- Dion Lexon tells Brooks that Sean is gaslighting him. Wow, okay. <laughs> Mental health issues here, buddy. Uh, then we get Joe Coffey versus Siobhan Evans. Siobhan Evans wins. I'm pretty sure Coffey beat him last week. This week, Siobhan Evans. Two guys are going fucking nowhere, man. I've released them all. Siobhan Evans, at this, it's a guy, it's, it's just a guy that looks like Wesley. <laughs> that's him, that's, yeah. No, that's no. it. Um, Paxley's friends with Lyra, again backstage, so I don't know if that's Lyra back here permanently. Doing fuck all on Raw, so I don't know, maybe we'll be on NXT. But the brand split's alive, guys. Oh, no, they're going to do it properly this time. Of course they are. Then we got Obafemi versus Chan and Lorenzo. Uh, before this, there was a little segment backstage. Obafemi was speaking to Riso, and he says that where he comes from, women should be seen and not heard. This pissed her off. She had to be held back. And, and then he walks off, and it's like, this is probably like the most edgiest thing you'll get. You know what the funny thing is, is about this, so right? You've got I'm just coughing away here. See the family, the Tony Soprano ripoff. She's that's the that, culture. That's, that's the same. It's the exact same thing. See his Nigerian culture, where the the women should be seen or whatever and not heard. That's the way it should be in the fucking family. That's the way it would be in the Sopranos. You wouldn't have fucking Riso at the forefront telling all these guys what to do. But of course, because WWE's shite and woke as fuck. Then we're going... It's, it's crap, man. No, people are greeting about this, but... Tony D should be shaking Obi, Obi Femi's hand like, yeah, man, I agree. <laughs> like, you can bring a black man into the family. But, uh, yeah, people are, ta- doing that. Look, people are doing taking this bad. Um, but, again, I think if it was a white guy saying it, it would have been took a hundred times worse. Fuck I. It's because it's the, it's it's the fuck, African... Uh, someone from, like, um, a third diverse... World, third world country. <laughs> I was going to say a diversity background or whatever, but fair enough, I... He is yeah. from Nigeria. Near enough, third world. Anyway, moving on. Oh, I'm just saying that the white um, Westerner guy says this and it doesn't go down well. Yeah, but uh, I mean, to be fair, most, most places in America is third world anyway. If, if, Mans, if, Manso, if Mansoor said this in Saudi Arabia, I'd probably got a big pop. Yeah. Ho, oh, oh, Mansoor! He says, <laughs> they're meant to be seen, not heard. In Saudi Arabia, can't you see them? <laughs> Dressed in all black. The bin, get the bin bags out. Anyway, um, Obafemi wins. Hardly surprising. Just buries him. Do like he did Tony D. People are like, this guy shouldn't lose the belt. He should be the first guy just to give it up. <laughs> and then go for the world title. Can we be the first channel to give up watching the NXT? I wish. Up next, we have uh, Jada Parker versus Jasmine Nix. Jada Parker wins with a hip attack. Then the, Fatal Influence attack her afterwards. And the seventh match on a two-hour show? Yeah, um, at least the matches aren't overly long, though, I guess. You know, they're not, but come on. But the ma- none of the matches matter. Like, no, I mean, none, none of them. NXT you know, just, gives you too much, man. It's just, it's all, it's all shit at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, that's it, really. We had that. Um, Kalani Jordan, I think, is a terrible chat. The, the, that mid card belt's just fucking ruined NXT for me. Uh, right, then we get Roxanne Perez. She comes out and says that she's the matchmaker. People want to see her versus YX said all this stuff. Uh, doesn't matter if you're main roster, former NXT champ, or, you know, prodigy from Japan. She'll beat everybody. Chelsea Green comes out, wants to be the number one contender, because why not? And then Julia comes out, rocks Chelsea Green with a smash, hits a knee lift, and then she picks up the mic and she goes, me, you, CW. And that's it. That was the promo. That was it. I mean, I'm not exaggerating here. It was three words, and I mean, we're talking two of those words were, were two letter words, and the other one was a three. So even if you're doing Scrabble here, you're getting seven, seven letters. Seven letters was the promo here. Me. And, and, and people are marking it over this shit. People are going crazy over me, you, CW. 
Oh no, no. <laughs> crying emoji. I can't believe Billy. The Rock with the fucking arms. Oh, look at the hairs. Roman Reigns licking his lips. Everyone's posting all these fucking memes. I, I actually hate wrestling fans. Now, if you're subscribed to this channel, I'm going. You're a good guy. You're a decent guy. Like you're a good guy. Look, you're, you're kind of a beer guy. <laughs> I'm not saying that this Julia person fucking sucks, but she very well might. I, I'm not saying that she's hot, but how can you praise her for doing this? Like, how can you be so fucking optimistic and, and so infested in, in this promo here? Me, you, CW. It's probably because of the rest of the, they're all, all their favourites can't talk. And this is, this borders, well, no, it's not borders, this is can't Here, talk. we used to rip the piss out of Asuka. Asuka sounds like The Rock compared to this. Yeah. Honestly, man, if we so used what, to... So what, is Guliana Mexican or something? Or? I'm pretty sure she's Brazilian, been living in Japan. She looks like half and half. Elaborate. I think she looks a bit Japanese. Well, she might be. I think, I, think she's, I think she's half Japanese, half Brazilian. Maybe she's got half Jan or maybe she's got a Japanese fucking father or something. Oh, uh, who cares? I mean, who, who cares? Some is in a hey hey waka waka. That's an African song. Damn, I was gonna, I was gonna do the Brazilian. Doesn't matter. It's over. Me you rate this. Nah, nah, but Shakira sung it and she's Brazilian, is she not? Colombian. What's enough? Ah, close enough. Uh, <laughs> we're, anyway, we're um, going down. Yeah. Uh, all right, Japan's close enough as well. By the way, see if the earth's flat. According to you, it's completely out of topic. What you believe in? Oh, Jericho believes. How did Pearl ha ha Harbor happen? Did, they, did, the, did, the, did the Japanese fucking fly across the other opposite way of the world? Die? Pretty much, aye. Yeah. Well, the shite. Anyway. No, hold on. Me and Jericho. Me and Jericho never said the world's flat. <laughs> Why? Because you were both on a podcast doing it, weren't you? Met Chris Jericho before. I'm That's what I should have asked him actually when I was speaking to him. Fuck. Fuck you, on a Jericho. <laughs> should have said, Jericho. How'd yeah. you get here? <laughs> <laughs> no, all I mean, all I'm saying is, I've heard people talk about the world being flat and they don't sound you know, logistics. It can, it's impossible. It's actually impossible. So why why the intelligent? Why why is there some intelligent people that don't accept that? I, I don't know because they're trying to be edgy. Fair enough. How can the Japanese get to Pearl Harbor, which is a Hawaii, by the way? How can they get to it in a couple of hours? See if you did it the opposite way about. It's a 30 hour flight. I mean, just do the math. It, 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 you, I mean, you heard that certain cities in the wars were you couldn't bomb them because you didn't have enough fuel. So how the hell would they have enough fuel for a 30 hour flight? No, but technically, if you went to Alaska and you were. If, 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 if Trump went to Alaska and he, he reached out his hands, he, he could pretty much shake Putin's hand, could you know? Yeah, but you can see. I'm pretty sure that like the the most um, western tip of Alaska, you can see Russia. So if the Earth's flat, you shouldn't be able to see that. It should just be the, the end. Or the void. <laughs> the Earth's round, man. Should a flight from America to Russia not take like an hour? It does. You does go it? that way? If you go that way. If you go that way. <laughs> what? That's the way. That's the way they go. What? Clock oh, wait, think Rocky went. I think Rocky went like, the other way. Aye. He didn't. Rocky was on like a seventeen-hour flight. Nah, but it would still be far because Philadelphia is on the east, east-ish, east-ish. <laughs> Just say <saying>. east-ish. <laughs> well, why? Why does everybody go the long way then? No, not everyone goes the long way. Well, why would you ever go the fucking long way? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Cer certain airspace is anyway. You can only go clockwise. <laughs> it's what that. Right, it's rate. a load of pish. Let's rate this. It's a load of pish. What do you think? It's flat. No, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that I think there's a possibility. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Maybe it changes. What's the possibility? Maybe on weekends it goes from being round to flat. Aye. A bit like Stephanie McMahon in 2001. Woo! Anyway, I'm giving this a one. I ah, wasn't very good, guys, was it? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean... It's, it's like Dave a... Meltzer. Flat, round, maybe, whatever. Shite. Definitely. Yeah, I'll get a one as well, guys. Pish show. Pish. Don't end. Pish. Pish. Pish.